TCAS stands for uh, Traffic Collision Avoidance System and can give us a traffic advisory and uh, a resolution advisory. Okay, so this is the empty diamond. We can see that uh, the altitude is 200 feet above us and it's closing in. So uh, we should have a, a filled diamond. Yeah, we will have a filled diamond now and soon we will have a yellow circle. So now we have the traffic advisory and now we have the resolution advisory. Now we have the resolution advisory with a full red square and digits with uh, either plus or minus indicates the difference in altitude which is supplied from uh, the airplane's transponders. If we get a resolution advisory we have between 15 to 35 seconds before impact to follow the resolution instructions without delay. We do not need the permission from ATC. We can only get a vertical resolution to climb or descend, but not horizontal. If the system detects a change in the resolution, we may get the new instructions. And transponders between planes communicate by sending out signals and comparing the time delay. Mode C and S will give information about altitude for resolution advisories, but Mode A transponders can only generate a traffic advisory. To execute an outer land, we always need to make sure that the minimas are above the limit for our category landing. For example, CAT1 has 550 meters in RVR and usually 200 feet in vertical visibility. CAT2 has 300 meters in RVR and about 100 feet in vertical visibility. The Boeing 737 Classic has a fail passive outer land function which means it has two autopilots and will disconnect if a failure occurs. In the 737 new generation there is a possibility to have a fail operational without a third uh, autopilot. The Collins mode control panel together with the digital integrated standby flight display will uh, make the system fail operational and if a fail occur the landing will still be fully automatic. To set up the Classic for an alpha land, we need to tune both nav radios to the ILS frequency, set courses on both sides, and uh, when we have captured both the localizer and the uh, glide slope, we can arm the second autopilot. At 1500 feet AGL, the primary flight display will flash and indicate a test. We will confirm on the FMA that we got flare armed and when we um, get down to 400 feet the outer trim will uh, trim the stabilizer nose up before commencing the flare and at 50 feet the glide slope will be disconnected and the radio altimeter takes over. The throttles are automatically retarded but reverse thrust we will have to uh, manually select. After that, keep the aircraft on the center line. The FMC or ACARS cannot uh, send your flight plan to uh, the air traffic control. Usually, it's your company who files the plan in advance. However, you can receive the IFR clearance via your ACARS systems and also you can receive the latest ATIS, NOTAMs and you can send and receive messages from your company and ATC. In uh, modern airplanes you can also uh, get your uh, performance initialization and data uh, during your pre-flight. If you have the new system uh, CPDLC controller pilots data link communications you can uh, communicate with ATC uh, without radios mm -hmm.